Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome to this replay in the Russian tier 7 medium tank, the KB-13. This is an assault game and we are here on the Siegfried line. Now we're not top tier in this instance, this is a tier 8 game. So our armour is not quite as good as it would be clearly if we were in a tier 7 game and armour is definitely one of the things the KV-13 does quite well. So, we're just going to see what we can do. And we've spawned on what is my preferred spawn actually, the north spawn when you're assaulting this map. There's some nice bushes that you can get some spots off um, and I think you have better opportunities for entering the town from this side. As long as you can dodge tank destroyer fire, which, which I appreciate when I put it like that, it doesn't necessarily sound like a good opportunity, but there we go. So, initially, I make my way over here, turn right, and there's some nice bushes up here just to the side of the bunker. We just lost our E25, alas. There we go. As long as I don't fire here or move too far forward, I'm fairly well spotted. The Chaffee, however, also wants to use them. Uh, he's a light tank, to be fair. I can't really begrudge him that. So there's no point in me being up there as well. So I go somewhere else. And we just lost a VK. This is not a particularly grand start. And I decide to be a little bit cheeky. No, no shots. Never mind. Okay. Now, along that ridge line, you really want to be using your gun depression, and the KV-13 has, I think it's 5 degrees of gun depression, that's not really where this tank shines. So, instead, let's go somewhere else. Right, let's make a break for it. Try and... Oh, that's some masonry, let's not do that. Trying to get into the town here. Now, this is where what I meant about better access to the town, provided you could dodge tank destroyer fire. There's often tank destroyers sitting near where that Ferdinand and IS-3 are, and they sometimes have an irritating habit of shooting you in the bum when you try and get into the town over here, but I appear to have made it. So let's see if I can put some fire into anybody from here. There is that Ferdinand over there, although he's not currently spotted, and there's also an IS-3, but that's his front, and I'm very unlikely to penetrate that, so let's not even bother. Eh, doesn't look like there's many good opportunities over there, so let's move into the town proper and do some brawling. Which is what this tank really likes to do. There's an IS-3. Side of his turret. Uh, bounces. Never mind. KB-4 over there. No, no good shots. Oh, yes, but he's got quite thick side armour and the penetration on this gun's not amazing. So it's basically not going to work unless I use APCR. And it's a very slim shot. There's not really much point loading APCR at this moment. I'd probably be better off saving it for another occasion. I might have penetrated there with APCR, but I still think I'm better off saving the the, um, the more expensive ammo for a better occasion. I think I try one more, it doesn't even hit. And I probably spend too long faffing around with that um, KB4. So, I haven't actually done any damage yet. trying to wait for an opportunity to arise. I'm still pondering that KB4, but frankly that's not a good opportunity, so I really shouldn't be faffing around with it. Oh, we're losing 2-6. This does not look good. Alright, screw it. Opportunity scene. M6. Can I finish him off? Maybe someone else will get him? No, Chaffee polishes him off. That's fine. Okay, reassess the situation. Cromwell. I can bully the crap out of a Cromwell. Let's go and do that. Try not to shake any, take any shots in the side. Oh, God. IS-3 and Ferdinand. IS-3 and Ferdinand. Get myself into a position where they can't shoot me. And put a shot into the Cromwell. Oh, Jesus. This is not looking good. Team has pulled it back to 5-7, however. And that was a bad shot. Flogged that completely. All right. So. Let's poke my nose out the other side. And, ooh. Side of an ISU. I'll take that. <laughs> And he's dead. Side of a Ferdinand. I'll take that too. If they're just going to give me their side armour, I mean, it'd be rude to um, say no. Oh, he's hiding himself really well behind the wreck of that M6. Try and keep him tracked. There's a second shot into him. And our Ferdinand polishes him off. 
and suddenly the game is level at 8 kills apiece. That's good. I still haven't done a colossal amount of damage. I mean, I've put in some, but I haven't really had a great opportunity yet. So let's move around this flank. Now I'm guessing there's no one else up where that Ferdinand and IS-3 were because the IS-3 is just here. Poke my face around, put a shot into the side of that IS-3 who is currently engaging the Jagdtiger 88 anyway. But he's now looking in my direction which should make life easier for the Jagdtiger. Indeed it is. And now he's looking back at the Jagdtiger. Oh, bye bye. That's a shame, isn't it? Kill number two, and now there's a Cromwell over here in the KV-13. We'll happily eat Cromwells for breakfast. You just have the armour to bounce their gun reliably, and they don't have the armour to bounce you. Ram him to death. Don't even take any damage in the process. Kill number three. And we're winning 10-9. Just pondering what to do next. Trying to think about my options. Oh, we lose a Lerva, so it's 10-10. Right, one, two, three, four. Four of them are down here. I don't know about the fifth. I was going to go through here, but then realised there's not actually a route through. Whoops, dead end. Let's take a different route. And there's the a Chaffee that we saw earlier on. Now, I would like a special mention just to say right now, that Chaffee does really well. Have a look at his score at the end of this game. Right, Tiger P, KV4, and oh, good lord, A44. Okay. That shot missed, didn't even hit him, let alone penetrate. But M6 polishes off the A44. Okay, SU100Y gets taken up by the Chaffee. Good man. So now it's an SU152, KV4, Tiger P. We know where they all are. We just lost our M6 to the KV4. There's the Tiger P. He's looking at me, alas. So I back off. And hopefully the Chaffee can get shots into this guy's side. You can see I'm looking over there, hoping that the Chaffee's going to be able to do something. Oh, KV4 just killed our Ferdinand. So, it's me, Young Tiger 88 and a Chaffee versus a Tiger P, SU-152 and a KV4. I track the Tiger P and, oh god, the SU-152 is behind him. Manage to get a bit lucky and do some damage there. Go around the side, get hit by the SU-152. Put a shot into the Tiger P. Chaffee polishes him off. Repair the track. Chaffee's laying fire into this SU, and I'm using the Tiger P for a bit of cover. There's one shot into the SU. Will I reload in time to get another one in? No, not really. Okay, okay, okay. KV4's coming up behind me, SU's in front of me. This is a slightly sticky situation, so I'm going to pretend the SU isn't there, put things between me and him, and go and try and help the Yag Tiger versus this KV4. KV4's armour is, however, really rather good. And I can... Oh, no, 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 no. He can't be allowed to shoot me. I've loaded APCR here. With my regular ammo, I have 144mm of penetration. With APCR, that goes up to 194. So with APCR, I can shoot this guy's weak spots. Now, I can't just lob my way through his armour if he decides to angle, but he's looking at me, and hopefully that will allow our Yag Tiger to start putting 88mm rounds into this guy's bum. Lower plate, that was a bounce. Chaffee's coming up behind the SU-152. So I changed my priorities. Load armor piercing again. Is the Chaffee firing HE? Oh well. Hmm. It looks like the Chaffee's firing HE. I don't really know why. Oh, he might be out of armor piercing ammo. So I help the Chaffee against this guy. And kill off the SU-152. I think the Chaffee's down to high explosive ammo. I hadn't noticed that when I was playing this game. Switch back to APCR and go around the flank. If this Yag Tiger 88 goes out in front of the KV-4, the KV-4 will probably kill him. So I'm going around the rear. There's only one minute of this game left. Oh, KV-4 kills the Yag Tiger. Need to make this shot count. Need to make this shot count and kill the KV-4. It helps that I get a slightly above average damage roll. And that's the end of the game. Now, the reason I think the Chaffee might have been firing high explosive, well, firstly, I saw the damage he was doing. That was not armor piercing. But also, have a look at his damage count at the end of the game. It's very, very good indeed. Basically, myself and him carried this game. And between us, you know, we, we, we beat the stuffing out of the enemy team, which was nice. 
So, have a look at the post-game results and sort of bathe in the glory that is Chaffee um, before it gets nerfed. Oh, changed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel. And I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.